Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more of our Tuscan Trade Terror campaign. I'm gonna save the game, just in case, because I, uh, just queued up a hundred more regiments, and you never know, when you're dealing with large numbers of units, sometimes the game likes to crash. We have another five Legios on the way, it's gonna put us way over the force limit. Um, oh hey, best of our, because of our failure to pursue war against the infidel, our people are upset. People angered by our failure to wage war. Hmm. So we're gonna have a rebellion over here, huh? All right. I'm I'm fairly certain, guys, that um, I'm converting the entire world. Oh, hey, Rushi's finally rivaled us. Oh, you know what? We're not at war. We should probably rival them too. We're not allowed. Oh, we already are rival to them. And we can rival Austria. They have 95, negative 95% and no navy. Yeah, okay. Well, because they're rivaling us, we're allowed to rival them, basically. That's the new rule. And they've entered a coalition. Oh, that's fun. They were friendly and up until just a second ago, and now they desire our provinces. And they're rivaled, and they're pressured into issues over borders, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, we have an army in place. Trade company, boom. Trade efficiency, or 3,000 ducats. Ten years of trade efficiency? Yes. Of course. Worth way more money, almost guaranteed. Oh crap, it took the top option instead of, um... Crap. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Game? That's not what I wanted to do. Well fine, you'd be that way. I was just preparing to handle the rebellion there, sir. Chiquitos has been converted, thank goodness. They have asked us to keep him, okay? I think one of these is actually a double legio. So we will move it elsewhere. So it doesn't interfere with the assembly of the new five, five uh, regiments. Gosh, by the time I get these all converted, or sorry, by the time I actually get the technology, then I'm I'm not going to need the the bonus conversion speed. Of course, it is the very next one, and we're almost there. I think we're going to do this one before we bump stability back up to zero because we're doing okay. The term is up for Benny Dota. We can make him a six six six. Excellent, awesome. That's rather annoying. We have no more units in production, so this is everything. Let's grab these guys all together then. 100 armies. And let's get our missionary strength plus 3. Losing claims quite often. And uh, you know what? For good measure, I'm going to switch up to, if I can find one, I'm going to switch back to an Inquisitor, can we? Please? Damn. Cannot. Well, that's too bad. An Inquisitor on top of all of the bonuses that we have would be really nice. And we've lost a general. We'll just hire a new one. Ooh, this one's pretty good. 4542. I like it. I like it much. What do you say we go to war with Russia and the rest of the known world? Your first job as a general is to be kill those guys. We do have diplomats available. Might as well fabricate claims on Russia. Might as well fabricate more claims on Austria. And France. One of these days, we're going to go to war. Alright, so... Great new units. Uh, we will make one Legio on our own. And then make the other two by splitting. Alright. 
So a little bit of revolt risk here and there. Cost for being over our force limit is 100 ducats a month. Not that we care. France has insulted us. What do you say we continue to raise our force limit and then we go to war? I am just like running out of places to build these structures. These ones don't even have armories. Thank goodness. Well, these ones already have the post office, so we can't really... We'll do the customs house. These buildings got buffed, I believe, in the patch. Not that we really care too much, but... We are still ahead of time on this. One of our neighbors has paid the penalty, surprisingly. Um, did I just see that we lost the siege or that we won a siege? It's like we won. Yeah, totally. Gonna support you in other ways. Whatever you say, boss. We're gonna go to war with the Coalition, I think. As soon as we can buy our stability back up. Unless there are other... Um, unless there's like another administrative idea that I really need. Tolerance of the true faith and monthly fervor. We don't really have issue with revolt risk in our own lands. It's just the ones that are not our religion. So, tolerance of the true faith is not going to help us that much. The monthly fervor would be kind of nice. Yearly prestige don't care about. Missionary strength versus heretics. That's kind of cool. Ooh, and then religious ideas got changed. Culture conversion cost minus 25%. That's kind of weird. Still don't feel like culture conversion is generally worthwhile unless you have a huge abundance of dipple points, which we do. You know, let's go ahead and do some. I don't care, I mean, whatever. Of course, we're this close to the end of the thing. About 1,200 points, we can reduce the cost. Now we'll just do it now. We can have it done in, in two years. That's pretty fast. Go away, people that don't believe in what we believe in. Alright, let's get our stability back up to zero. And let's fabricate a claim on Songhai, if possible. I please get a claim on Dendi. But I can connect it to Gobir. Dendi. And then if we're gonna go to war with the coalition, might as well just have claims pretty much everywhere that we can. Focus on stability again. Okay, so do we have any truces? I don't think we do. If we declare war directly on Songhai, the protectorate, they are gonna be protected by the Netherlands, which call on the whole coalition, which is pretty much the entire world. We could probably beat the entire world, or we could declare war on Portugal. Just, let's just. What do you think? Just fight them. Just fight out everyone. You're not in the coalition, are you? Here, we're gonna attack you. Who needs cast a spell? Like? It's two base tag. I'm not. Yeah, I'm just their war. Humanism would be so nice. 
really want that idea group, but I... The problem is that it directly conflicts with my goals of conquest. 14 administrative points a month. My goodness. I don't think I've ever had that many points per month. Oh, you know what? We still even have the Rapid Integration Act on. We could maybe try to turn that off for a second. I'll probably end up forgetting then. Tell you what, after this war, we will turn it off, just get boatloads of administrative points, finish out an idea group or two, and go from there. Maybe even boost up stability one more time. Trading in wine is nice. Church attendance duty. Not a geographical construct. Whatever these things are, I don't know. And, uh... Being at level 1 would be nice for conversion speed. And then also for fervor. Because it would give us quite a bit more fervor. It's tempting. And we have over a million manpower. Religious unity is up to 87%. I haven't looked at the religious map mode in a while. Reformed. Reformed. We're spreading it very well. There's still, still some Muslim and Hindu and all that stuff, but it's getting it's getting pretty spread out well. We're just reducing our overall problems. All right, so we can do full surrender here now, full annexation. I'm just gonna core the heck out of that pretty fast. We can convert it really fast. If we had humanism, man, would it be good. Hey, Italy gets disorder. Uh, don't we already have disorder? Yeah, we do. A different kind of disorder, evidently. So, okay, well, we're making money. Um, we've done the coring. Let's, let's turn off the Rapid Integration Act. Now we're making 15 administrative points a month. We should be able to knock out some of this other stuff. And then we just don't attack anyone for a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't really care too much about those things. I just want to convert. I just want to try to convert everything that we have. And we have 15,000 points. Doing pretty well on score. Lost general. This one's complete crap. But I guess he has to stick around. things have joined our culture, which is pretty nice. It'd be cool if there was a button in here to add provinces. I'm liking these little 15 points of uh, stuff that we're getting. I think I've seen that event like three or four times in the last video. Pretty nice. It's a month's worth of stuff. A devoutness. Here she comes, devoutness. Yearly prestige is going to be really useless. And, you know, honestly, the rest of these ideas don't really appeal to me that much. 
Because we don't, we don't have a lot of heretics, you know? It's just mostly other religions now. I mean, I guess there is one there. Gujarat. But... Mostly other religions. It's interesting. Humanism, on the other hand. If we could do, if we could do some more... Um, technology, some more administrative tech, and then get the next idea group unlocked yeah, at level 29. And then even though it's even more admin points, and then take like... God, we'd have to get four ideas in. Yep, if I could do it over again, I would I would definitely play with humanism as one of my first picks. But we're not going to do it over again, that's crazy. We say we go to war with everyone. That could, could be the way to go. Those will probably be really easy to convert. It's a pretty low base tax. Wouldn't be surprised if those two show up. Uh, the term is up for our 666 general. We could keep him. Um, how old is he now? Good lord. Well, he's 63. He might die. But when he's a 666, you can't, you can't pass that up. He's too good. That cannon is even better than anything else. Neither of these matter to me at all. Why would I? I don't, I don't have. I don't think I even have any of those. Well, we're at eighty-eight percent religious unity. Rapidly closing in on these. These other guys, when you have six missionaries working constantly, um, the conversion speed's pretty quick. It'd be even better, though, if we had an Inquisitor. Really would have liked to have had an Inquisitor for this. Oh, well. So, um, I guess we're going to take a break here, and... I just... I'm so torn. I just I really want to do humanism, but I also kind of want to do religious. I just don't need it anymore. So I know you were ready for attacking, I think. We're ready to attack the coalition. Let's just... I'm going to make myself do it. We're going to attack France. No, we're going to attack Russia. Their war. They're allied with France. They'll call upon the coalition. It's fine. Cleansing the heresy versus them. Do it. Done. No more going back. No more take backsies. Sure, we're not necessarily organized, and it might not be the right time for something like this, but whatever, we're going to do it. So, with that in mind, I'm going to take a break here. I'm going to tell our guys to move to wherever we have claims. It'd be nice if we had commanders for everything, but I don't really think that I can expect that to be the case. Whole goal is really is going to be to focus on Russia. That's what I really want is their land. And of course, over here we have to fight France. So it might not be a bad idea to get a general here. Not the two four. In fact, let's hire a different one. Four three. That's a little bit better. We'll fire the other guy because he's garbage. I mean, I like his maneuver score, but that's pretty bad. Alright, okay, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.